Hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to show you uh, the exact same application that I've made in the last video, except this time it's going to be a lot cooler and <clears throat> visually more uh, acceptable to the eye. And I've added a couple of pages more. Um, such as the I've added a a smart home controller uh, to the application, and it is connected with a server, and it can send and receive data between the server and the application itself. Uh, so yeah, let's take a look into it. Let me just. Uh, check if the server is running. I've I've deployed it to Heroku, by the way. It's uh it's the free plan, which is not much, but okay. Never mind. It's up. It's up. Good. Okay. Let's see. Here is the application. Okay. You have this is the landing page. I have I I didn't have any. Any ideas for it so I kind of made it simple but it looks kind of acceptable now better than the welcome page that was before get started we have a login page with everything you have the email here you have the password that's a silly placeholder right there but we have a not a registered user sign up now okay so let's assume that I am a new user let's make um, let's make a new account okay that's the email uh, you can see also we have the validation uh, things right here so if it's empty it's going to tell me we need some text you cannot proceed with the empty strings as well so let's say my name is Alex okay uh, oh, for a video let's just make it like this Okay, let's make the secret key very straightforward. It needs to be 14 characters long. Okay, let's make a longer one. And let's submit processing data. Right, let's, uh, okay, it hangs. Let's see the server. Okay, so that means that this username, like I, I didn't add the error for validation here, but that means that the user should not have any uh, any empty spaces. So let's remove that and try again. Submit. Okay, it proceeded. Let's see. New user has joined, calling find user. So that's a function to find the user from the database which is MongoDB we have user with email exists on the server so it checked and the user exists which is which is me now result on get user is 200 comparing passwords so that's the password and that's the hash I'm using argon uh, to by the way to to hash the password so it compared it does password match true password matches okay and then here it goes to the passport thing it just serializes the user and then gives it a socket id in order for the user to be able to send socket socket uh, messages to the server okay so here is the the controller page that I've added recently 
it takes your name and displays it for you from the server and the current temperature the current humidity humidity i hope i said that right and we have a couple of things here first we have entry we have lights we have the thermostat well those are just placeholders i've just used the template from youtube i will and i have edited uh, some of the looks and removed some of other pages that i didn't need for now so i'll put the original design idea video in the description below so you can check it out he's a cool guy as well he puts up good content so you may as well subscribe to him uh okay so let's see now the server is connected to my device here but uh, the boards i don't have any boards connected like iot boards or internet of things boards connected to the server right now so when i press that button right here it will just try to connect and then it will try to shut down because there is no board so it will reset uh, it will reset the whole thing it, it will try to send the server like uh, I'm trying to turn on light number one so it can't find light number one or it is out of connection offline so it will it will shut off again or go to the older state okay so let's see let's try turn on lights okay it tries to run here and then it says here can't reach the main node let's see the server it tries to emit this json like when i click on that it tries to emit this json which has the id main the type the order for the main is null and then we have the the node uh, ID and the type of it and the data so the data here is like the order but to the sub node of the main node so those all are connected to one uh, main node right and it's basically me sending the order to the main node to do things with the sub node stuff like that okay so let's try run it again okay so i can't reach the main node for some reason and of course i know the reason um okay so and yeah here is the the date i've added uh, I've connected to an API that gives me the date and temperature and humidity if I told you that and yeah that's pretty much it if you can if you want to sign out you just have to click on that button and yeah you get to the home page again so that's the whole application it's made on um, on flutter with the without null sound safety which is in my opinion a it needs some time before it matures because i can't use it right now because there are a lot of packages that doesn't support null safety yet so that makes a lot of problems when it comes to running packages and using application with packages stuff like that so yeah uh, that's uh, that's the welcome screen we have a safe area we have containers we have text more text a lot of text everything here is a text an ele elevated button and we're using navigator to uh, 
to basically navigate between pages. Uh, we have some routes. Let me show you. Where is the? Yep, we have the main here. So yeah, we have a route. This route checks uh, when I try to push to that route. It basically checks uh, on the server if uh, if the user is authenticated or not. So if I'm getting an empty uh, empty string or empty that's a string. Oh no no that's a that's a map but I'm turning it into string to check it. Um, so if it is empty, if the response is empty, uh, hmm. If it if it is not empty, then send the user to the sensor screen, which is the controller screen. Send it with the name and the ID. Uh, if it is empty, then the user is unauthenticated, and then go to the welcome screen. Uh, and meanwhile, it will just return you this linear, linear progress indicator, uh, which is the loading uh, circle. Okay, we have the sign out, which is what happens when we click that button. It signs out and destroys the session from the server. We have dashboard, uh, which is uh, I should change that to controller or something. But that's basically the uh, the route of the uh, the controller page, right? We have a check as well to check if the user is authenticated. It's it's basically like like this route right here, except I'm doing it above to make sure that if the user is authenticated uh, and. He goes out of the application and enters again. The, fir the first thing that will happen is he will be pushed to the initial route, which is this dash right here, and then no need for him to re-authenticate. So I'm checking every time if he's authenticated or not. Uh, okay, and it's it's basically the same thing. And we have sign in. Uh, it, it it's a route for the sign in page, obviously, and sign up. This is the exact same thing, sign up page. So, um, oh yeah, I want to show you the, uh, the switch button and how, for me, like right now, it's very complex, okay? And the problem is, like, let's try to log in again so I can show you the problem okay let's try to authenticate okay so the password must be wrong incorrect password hmm tags up again hmm Oh, okay, okay. I'm typing the wrong password. Let's try to authenticate here. Yeah. So, if you if you and don't mind me about these errors, I'll just handle them later. The problem here is if I turn that on and immediately turn that on as well, both turn off. And like if I'm the problem here is if I'm trying to make that up and the, the, the board is not available, but suddenly it's av if it's available, uh, and I'm trying to turn that on, and suddenly it is available, those two buttons will turn off anyway. So, in order for it to work properly, you have to click every one at a time. Like you've done from this request, try to run this. You can just do like this, this, 
from this. You, you can do that. This is bugged, by the way, so don't mind it. Leave it like that. So that what makes it uh, kind of tricky to remove this. I've tried to set it like to add this to the widget to make it only control the current widget uh, and not the other siblings. Uh, but no, it doesn't work. Even with widget that is checked, it just changes. Like I have to change it every time after I get uh, not available. I can't reach main node from the server. If I get this from the server, I have to change that to to go to the older state. But it just changes the entire thing. Like changes this, changes this, changes this. They all running at the same time. I've tried to help to change uh, some of the code to make it work properly, but it's not done yet. It needs some some time. And yeah, I'm using event handlers to basically listen for any server changes because it's not like a uh, a WebSocket uh, change which happens immediately. It's like a, an HTTPS request. So I'll have to wait before uh, getting something. So whenever the server sends something, I have the event handler listening to it. And when it happens, I invoke this function, which is reverse button. And yeah, I set state to everything here. So changing the widget and whatnot. So yeah, using animation builder, the animation controller. That's a bit tricky, but it looks cool at least. What do you think? Does it look cool? Like the application and the login, the sign up, and the um, the controller board, the controller page. Do you think they are looking cool? Uh, let me know in the comments. Uh, I will be happy to know what what is your opinion about the the entire thing. And yeah, that's pr pretty much it. I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope you learned something new or. Uh, I hope I inspired you to do something good. Uh, okay, so yeah. I'll have to end it here. Uh, yeah, not much to say anymore. Okay, guys, see you around.